Yeah, so my uh, my nutritionist is coming over. Oh yeah. Yeah, she can be a little intense, but she, she might be calm this time. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm trying to eat this ice cream before she gets here. Yeah, screw that. Oh. So good though. No? What? I mean, it's just, it's just for ice cream. Ah! Welcome back to the channel. So as you guys have known, I tore, well actually I don't know if you guys, people that are new viewers, then you don't know, but I actually went ahead and tore my MCL. So the MCL is gonna be the part of your knee on the inside that keeps lateral motion in place so you can like pop, pivot, move, do all what you wanna do. So I tore that. I had spent three weeks off the bike, not riding, and I thought I got healed up. And of course it wasn't because that was too soon. I went out to Bailey Mountain Bike Park and retore it open because the two most aggressive parks in my area are gonna be Bailey Mountain Bike Park and Windrock. So went to Bailey Mountain Bike Park and just pushed it, had a great time, and as soon as I got off the bike, my leg was like, boom! Not good, so I went to the doctor, got some x-rays, MRI, and like, it just, it's just gotta heal back, and I just gotta quit being stupid and riding on it. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and slide in the gym because I am the fat kid in the group of my friends. Um, not really fat, maybe just a little out of shape, but definitely bigger than any of my other friends that I ride with or hang out with. I would like to uh, change that up in this downtime, and I probably wouldn't even worry about this if I didn't have an injured knee, but I have all this energy and I need to do something with it. We're gonna go ahead and do uh, a few things. We are gonna start with doing a measurement of my body. We're gonna do all of my upper body and my fat belly and see how that goes, get measurements. So there's a little bit of progression to be tracked over the next uh, 90 days of this fitness thing I wanna do to try to give my knee a good break, but still be active because we all need an outlet. And like a lot of us do a lot of exercise just to have something to do. We're gonna also have one of my friends, Jerrica, come by the house and Go ahead and talk about the foods that I have in the house that are probably a big problem with me snacking all the time. Well, she's gonna come by and throw away all my food that I don't need just so I don't have it in the house because it is unnecessary sugars stuff. And I just, I, I'm not sure how much sugar she's gonna throw away, but I'm assuming I'm about to take a hit and have to go back to the grocery store to buy more healthy things. We're gonna go ahead and start uh, measuring the situation and try to just get a par point. I got my phone set up here so I can write down the measurements while we're in the middle of this. But overall, to get a starting point of where I'm at or track some kind of progression or what I'm trying to accomplish so I can see progression as I am. Going through these workouts, changing up my diet, actually going to the gym and doing things that are more effective because I know that my legs are strong, I just have weak knees. Let's go ahead and start getting those measurements. 34 years old, 210 pounds at 5'10", 5, 5'10 10, 5, 10 and a half, whatever, it's probably not an acceptable like body index ratio or whatever they want to call it because I have no idea what I'm talking about. I bought a 90 day membership at a local gym that I liked that had the equipment that I liked and they had a cross up of uh, weights and then also what I would consider kind of uh, circuit training or CrossFit type things. They were separate, but you still have both so I really enjoyed it and it was at a good price. 34, no, 43 and a quarter, 43 and a quarter. So I think that's pretty straight as far as my widest point that I'm at. 49 inches. There's fat belliness here, so you know that we're going to fattest point. I'm just gonna go right across my belly button. So without sucking in, just chilling, my belly is 40 inches. The big 4-0. 439. Wow, that's crazy. 39 inch waist. I think my pant size is only 34, so I don't know what that's about. That doesn't even make sense. Is this tape measure right? Yeah, 100%. 39 inches around the waist. Oh God, Lee, that is a sad, sad sight right there. No flexing, 14 inch guns. The right side is going to be 14 and three quarters. So my collar is 17 inch neck. So the last thing I'm gonna measure is my thighs. Even though I'm not going to be working out my thighs, I wanna go ahead and measure them. And I'm gonna save you guys the uh, visual of me measuring my thighs. So 26 inches on my right leg and 26 and a half on my left leg which makes sense because my left leg is my power leg, that's my forward leg, that's all that stuff. If you guys got some comments about these things or how they compare to you, please drop them below because I have no idea how to compare in these numbers because we're all different body shapes and sizes or whatever. Let's go ahead and go check out the gym. So hey guys, so we're here at the gym. Usually this would be a room that I would be really strong in. 
This would be the room in which I could come in a spinning class and put down some major effort, some major wattage outputs, but with this bum knee, all I've got is this cool brace. I'm gonna be headed out into the gym uh, to go ahead and go an overall upper body, just, just first time in the gym in eight years, so I'm really just gonna have to press on my ability and what I know and just trying to get back comfortable being in the gym. So let's go ahead and run through a few exercises. I was nervous getting back in the gym, but once I got in there, put the weights in my hands, got myself worked through, I'm really excited about what's coming in the next weeks and some harder workouts and some gains. Yeah, I'm trying to eat this ice cream before she gets here. Yeah, screw that. Oh. Oh, it's so good, though. Get off it! Is that an ice cream in your hand? No! <laughs> what? I mean, it's just, it's just for an ice cream! Oh! Kevin! What? What else am I gonna find? I, I mean, where are you gonna look? Let's start with the fridge. Oh, sh is the creamer that bad? Oh. It says zero sugar. Well, what, what? Oh my, those are delicious. Those are a staple. covered pretzels? There's pretzels in there, it's carbs. No, these are bad carbs, we've been uh, over this. Oh, okay, okay, what else, what else? That, it's, it's, it's fruit, it's fruit no, juice. it's all sugar, it's all sugar. Uh, no. Oh, my orange juice too, that's simply no. orange. That no. stuff's expensive. No. Oh, 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 those are definitely my roommates, those aren't mine. No, those are Steve's. Steve, Steve, Steve those are yours. Yes. What? Uh, it's pizza. Oh, Look, those are they're, these. They're dark chocolate. They're dark chocolate's better for you, right? And ice cream. Oh, 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 it's Eddie's though. That's not even mine. It's Eddie's. His name's on it. No. All right, all right. That's 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 it. Oh, we're not done. Well, well I mean, that's where I'll, that's the only place I have food. Nope. Straight what? The pantry. What? Oh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Hmm. Kevin, is this yours? Oh, no, I mean, no, what, Pop Tarts? Strawberry milkshake pop. What is this? It's cereal. It's Reese's piece of cereal. You need that. Oh, Kevin. What? No. They're double stuffed. No. Come on. I need energy. Soda. What? Absolutely not. What? You have to, you, you need those things. Why do you need because they're delicious. Do I get to keep you anything? You need to get fit. So stop eating sugar. Pop tarts. What? No, no. no, those were hidden. You weren't supposed to see those. So it looks like I got a lot of food that I have to go ahead and replace in the house. Get other things. This is going to be a journey. I am taking you guys along for the ride. I appreciate the subscribers, new viewers. Make sure you subscribe, and let's see how much I can change up these measurements that I have going on. See if I can slim down, and tighten up. And then the next three months that I have lined up and I can really give my leg a rest and hopefully when I come back and get on the bike, I'm going to be that much stronger because I have that much more upper body strength to throw the bike around, to compensate for mistakes and stuff like that. So remember, pedal a little harder, don't touch the brakes, and we'll see you on the next one.